Good morning, Pioneers! My name is Joaquin Davila, here to guide you through what has been happening around the building these past few weeks. First of all is a message from your own Katar Kincaid, who is also a member of our yearbook staff. The yearbook team have been hard at work all year producing a quality of way to remember this school year. Katara interviewed Gracie Bachman, who is the editor of our yearbook. Over to Katara. Hello Leavenworth Pioneers, our Leavenworth school year is coming to an end and as the school year comes to an end, students wonder, what is in the yearbook? Where can I get my yearbook? How much is the yearbook? And how can I know if I've bought a yearbook? Here today is our yearbook editor, Gracie Bachman, to answer these questions. Let's hear from Bachman. So we are covering all sports, um, even spring sports. We cover all the events we can. Um, we have six sections this year instead of five. And um, additionally, we are doing something super unique with our theme. So we are actually having some fun facts from all of the past years and yearbooks put into this year's book because it's our 120th anniversary of the June Bug yearbook. So it's something super cool and there's a lot of unique things in it. So now that we know how much the yearbook is and what's in the yearbook, let's find out where you can get one and how you can find out if you've purchased one or not. You can see right here in the yearbook hallway, um, we have all these papers and they're separated by grade levels and um, you can find your name and then if it's blank, that means you haven't bought a book and if it says yes, that means that you have purchased a book. So it makes it super easy and quick and simple to see if you've bought one. Remember to visit Room 205 and buy your yearbook today. This is Katara Kincaid from PTV signing out. Thanks, Katara. Be sure to pick up your yearbook as there are fewer than 200 books remaining. If you would like to see if you've already purchased one, head outside Miss Waters' room and look for your name. Another piece of LV Media that's been underway is our podcast studio. We've recently had three podcasts released recently, two from Pioneer Perspective and one from JRTC Radio. If you're interested in any of these, you can find them on Spotify at LVHS On Air. These three episodes are as follows. Election year, where we sit down and talk to Mr. Murphy and Ms. Kaczynski about our upcoming presidential election, an interview with Pioneer Guard Commander Gabby Carnoli about the road to nationals, and a conversation with Dr. Adams, where we sit down and talk to our superintendent about the future of Leavenworth schools. In the coming weeks, we have three more Pioneer podcasts dropping. We will talk with Mr. Messler and Levi Hanlon about creative writing. JRTC Radio will speak with Naomi Thompson about Cadet Choir. And LV Athletics on the mic will talk with Jackson Harding and Jada Eagle about baseball and softball. With all this talk about our journalism program, though, I'm sure many of you are wondering how it works. Shelby Tierney got some behind the scenes of our video program. You have probably seen Pioneer Television, but have you seen how they've been made? Let's take a look with me behind the scenes. Okay, so first we brainstorm what we are going to be filming and what type of shots we want to get. After we are done brainstorming, we go out and get all the footage we need and more as extra just in case we don't like some shots. Once we are done filming, we go back into the studio and edit the footage and piece it all together. And that is how we eat make each segment for Pioneer Television, otherwise known as PTV. If this looks like something you would like doing, stop by room 205 or talk to your counselor about enrolling in video classes next year. This has been Shelby with PTV signing out. Thank you, Shelby. And if video work piques your interest at all, feel free to reach out to Ms. Waters in room 205. Speaking of shows, our theater department is putting on Almost Maine on the 19th and 20th of this month. Tickets will be online at LeavenworthHighSchoolTheater.com. Pick one up if you're interested. Hello, PTV. I'm Magdalena, and I'm here to tell you that our school's theater team is performing a show called Almost Maine here at Leavenworth High School. Let's interview the cast members for more information about the show. So it's about... Uh, nine different storylines that happen at the same time. It's nine different scenes. All of the scenes, um, like at the end of the scene, um, the Northern Lights come up, and that's kind of the theme of the play. Like, that's how they have, like, the poster and stuff. It's just Northern Lights, and yeah. Be going on about not being able hey. to feel pain. I've gone and knocked the sense right out of you. No, I'm okay. Senior C.L. Burt is one of the student directors. She talked to us about the play. It takes place in this rural part of Maine. It's not a town. It's almost a town. So the people are a little weird, a little wonky, but it's cold out for sure. Um, almost Maine is on April 19th and the 20th um, at 6.30. You can go to Pluvier's room, and when we get closer to the date, they'll definitely be at lunch, um, 
any all all lunches. <laughs> a guy girl's got a girl like you. Each play the theater does has its own unique elements. Senior Reagan Kuhn is one of the actors, and she describes what makes this play unique. This like play is a vignette play, which is just like a bunch of short scenes that aren't really connected to each other. So it's been very different because of that. Like usually it's one overarching story and like everybody works together at some point, but it's really only you're working with two people and that's about it. So you can snack tickets to see Almost Maine by visiting LevermoreHighSchoolTheater.com. That's theater with an R-E. I'm Magdalena reporting for Pioneer TV. Have a good day. Thank you, Magdalena. I'm sure the show will be a hit. I hope to see you all in attendance, just like attendance in our classroom. Our three A's is a new approach we've implemented this year, and we went and talked to students to see a little more information. Let's go over there. Here at Leavenworth High School, we have a new approach for unlocking our students' potential. Our 3A approach involves three components, academics, attitude, and attendance. All three are essential towards the success of our students, not just in their studies, but in the real world as well. We went and found some of our students in order to see what they know about the three A's. The three A's. Um, academics. Uh, academics attendance and I don't know the third one. What's the third one? <laughs> I, I, wait. Attitude. Attitude, attendance, and I don't know if I know the other one. Uh, academics, achievement, and attendance. So I guess I know all three. Attitude. Because if you have a great attitude, you can get a lot done. I feel like and if you have a poor attitude, then not a lot of things are going to go good. Probably attitude, because if you have a good attitude, then you can do the other two A's. Like a good attitude, a perfect attitude. Academics. Uh, first Sergeant Cogdell always drilled into my brain, but if I don't do good in school, I can't do good in life. Academic. Because uh, with your academics, you can help you get a future in life. I say academics is more important because, like, uh, if you don't, I mean, school, school, I mean, school is important overall. Uh, if you don't like learn nothing, then like, you're not gonna know nothing when you're like older and like out of high school. Um, I'll make sure I'm doing all three of the A's, and then I'll tell my friends and tell them to tell their friends. I would probably, if I was here for another year, I'd probably lead by example and make sure everybody sees what I'm doing and doing the right things. Teach it. Teach it. My personal favorite A is attitude, because the best work always comes from having a positive attitude and I have a pretty smile. Finally, we'll end off with some laughs with Asian Walters and Caleb Bird. They took some students as well as some of Easter's most well-known food, Peeps. Here's their blind taste test. Uh -huh. Hop and hippity hey, five little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hey, one little bunny hopped away. How many bunnies are left? Five! You're so good. Hippity hop and hippity hey, four little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hey, one little bunny hopped away. How many bunnies are left now? Three! All right. Hippity hop and hippity hey, three little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hey, one little bunny hopped away. Uh -huh. Now how many bunnies are there? Two! That's right. Hippity hop and hippity hey, two little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hey, one little bunny hopped away. How many bunnies are left now? One! Okay. Hippity hop and hippity hey, one little bunny went out to play. 
The Dr. Pepper one was definitely my personal favorite. That's all we have for you today, though, Pioneers. I'm Joaquin Davila, and this is PTV Out.